Well, welcome back to the show, everyone. The first debate last week between President Trump and Democratic challenger Joe Biden erupted in fights over COVID-19 and bitter accusations about reopening the country. And obviously, Gordon, politics um, are very, very polarized right now, so much so that people are uh, wanting President Trump and the First Lady to die. They were just uh, diagnosed with COVID. Right, um, already on Instagram, you have yeah. people um, asking for them to die, well, it's just, which is mind boggling to it me. It is, it is. So how do we overcome these differences? Like, Well, I think a lot of it is our media culture. I, I, yeah. I'm watching the debate and I'm watching on um, Amazon Fire, and uh, I don't know who created the graphic, but it was prophetic, mm -hmm. uh, because it had them f physically facing each other, mm -hmm. and then underneath the subtitle was the main event. It, it, was, a, it was a graphic that you would use on a prize fight. Wow. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm laughing yeah. at it as I'm seeing the graphic, because it was before the debate started, yeah. but then after I started watching the debate, I. I literally couldn't watch it anymore. I, I turned on the CBN News app yeah. and was had it on my phone so I could listen to it while I looked at other things because it was it was so disheartening. It was um, extremely to disheartening. see it mm -hmm. and to see it played out. And here are two men who should be at the pinnacles of their uh, power and prestige. Yeah. And let's talk about the America we all want to have. Mm -hmm. And they just can't seem to get. It together. <laughs> um, well, it, yeah. It, what was your reaction to? I it? mean, I I had to mute it. Like I was, it was on my TV. But as you as you did, I I muted it. I mean, I don't know if you muted it, but I was looking at other things because no, I, I just muted. I got up. Yeah. Well, I yeah. muted it, and I was like, I. And occasionally yeah. I would I would unmute it, and I would listen, and then I would be disheartened again. I'd yeah. be like, oh, okay, it's going back to mute because. I just, I was so disheartened with how these two very grown men, very successful people, were just conducting themselves on a national platform. International, not just national, international platform. Well, to, to the world. And, yeah, and exactly. it's on both sides. I mean, I, I know in the aftermath, the uh, uh, commentary has been more focused on Trump. Um, I still don't understand how Joe Biden can get away with a statement as bold as saying, I am the Democratic Party which, yeah. um, I mean, it's right up there with Senator yeah. Palpatine from Star Wars saying, I am the Senate. Wow. You know, uh, Louis XIV yeah. said, I am the state. Mm. Uh, how could he get away with that and, and no one call him that, no, the Democratic Party is a pretty big tent. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can call yourselves the spokesman for the mm -hmm. party, mm -hmm. or perhaps better, the spokesperson yeah. for the par party. Yeah. But he was trying to distance himself from the Green New Deal, and mm -hmm. I'm going, well, if you want to be so distanced from the Green New Deal, do you not understand your vice presidential candidate is a co-sponsor of that bill? Mm. So if you want, if you, that's not your policy, well, you just put mm -hmm. that policy a heartbeat away from the presidency. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how, how you, do we... You know, the other side, because, you know, I've got to balance it, but yeah. how can Trump call into question the election results? I'm going, you're the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. That's your job. <laughs> yeah. Of all the jobs you have, yeah. you have to make sure in our democracy mm -hmm. we have a free and open election where everybody gets a chance to vote. Their vote will be counted. If there's going to be problems with the mail system, please do whatever yeah. you, is within your power to add staff, budget, mm -hmm. funding, whatever is needed. Yeah. to make sure that we can count the votes and count them on time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think just the large question is, I'm sure there's a lot of people who feel the same way uh, as you and I did, you know, just disheartened by... Are you sensing my frustration? <laughs> just, just a little. Are Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. But I mean, how can we overcome those feelings of hopelessness? I mean, I feel like a lot of people, there were so many, like, just different pictures on, on Instagram and Twitter, just, it was like, you know, Jesus, come back, because... I'm ready now. Yeah, we're ready, you know? So, but I mean, how do we, we overcome... We need some Prince of Peace around here. Yes. Um, how do we overcome those feelings of hopelessness? Because I feel like a lot of people are now coming to the point where they're like, I can't put my hope in one person besides Jesus. I can't put my hope well, in that's Trump. that's where it should be. Exactly. That's where it should be. And, and, and I'll be the first to say that um, it, 
Christians, mm -hmm. and I'll, 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 yep. I'll preach to the choir, yep. Christians have put far too much emphasis on individuals yes. and individual elections. Yes. Uh, and to the detriment of the wider culture. Mm. Yep. Uh, so are, are we more focused on our pol politics and are we uh, campaigning for the right or campaigning for a, yeah. a particular person mm -hmm. when we should be telling people life is a whole lot better with Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when, when you have that, and in our campaigning, have we lost the culture? Also, and also not get mad at others who don't see the same way as you. You know, if they're like, hey, I'm gonna vote for the non-conservative person, ooh, oh my goodness, you know, let's, let's not come at that person with hate, right? Well, I, you know, I, would, I congratulate anyone that participates in the political process. For sure. I know firsthand how hard it is. Mm -hmm. uh, my father ran for president, and it, it was one of the worst years of my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, you know, what, what happened and what he was exposed to and what the whole family was exposed to. Yeah. Anyone that wants to serve uh, and, and, and be a public servant, that's what they are. I don't, I, they, they may claim, they, mm -hmm. you know, more. I've, I've heard that from politicians, and I always shake my head. You, d you don't understand. Mm -hmm. You don't even understand the system you're in. Uh, this is for a very brief period of time, and then that time will, will be over. And I saw that with my grandfather. He was a U.S. senator. He mm -hmm. was a Democrat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he served for 18 years in the U.S. Senate. But then he lost an election. And not just a general election, he lost his own party's primary. Mm. It was so devastating to him personally. Uh, it, it was, he, he was such a noble man that it, it, he never wanted to show it, but as a, even as a child, I could feel it. Wow. So yeah. if, you're, if you're, as a politician, if your stature and, and who you are is in your office, think again. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, don't get caught in that own personal trap. And I think this is a lesson for all of us yep. in these times where it's so easy to be discouraged. You see this kind of display yeah. and you, you go, well, how did we get here? Yeah. Um, don't put your hope in politics. Yep. That's the wrong place. Put your hope in God. Mm -hmm. He has a promise for us. His promise is he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Yep. You may think he's abandoned America. Wrong. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Yeah. The other promise, and it's a great promise, he is actively working behind the scenes. We may, may not be able to see it, yeah. but he's actively working, and he says that he's shaping all things together for our good. Yeah. So let's put our hope there. Yeah. Uh, and Absolutely. if we put our hope there, then we have hope for our future. And for me personally, I have hope for my children yep. and maybe one day my grandchildren. Yeah, come on. Uh, but we need to have that hope. Amen. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.